same pin action. I'm surprised. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. Special guest here, Brandon Riley, Brunswick staffer. We're gonna be reviewing the Brunswick Prism Warp Hybrid against the Brunswick Prism Warp Solid. And then later on, when the lanes get a little drier, we're gonna do the Melee Jab SE versus the Blood Red Jab. Same exact ball, just special edition, purple, red. All right, Brandon has the same layout on the Prism Warps. Uh, why'd you go with a pin down layout, Brandon? Uh, I went with the 45 by 4.5 by 70 layout to give a bit more control down the lane. I find that going pin up on a lot of the newer balls is just a little too sharp and just hard to control my angles. I'm kind of a spinny player, so my natural ball roll will create backhand on its own. Sounds great. So what kind of layouts we got here on the melees? So the melee jab SE, I went 5 by 35, the tall pin up, and I went 4 by 30 on the blood red. Why the difference in the two? I mean, the same, same ball. Why drill them the same? I want two different reactions. I really love my Jab SE. It's been in my tournament bag ever since I got it. I wanted something to complement it and be a little earlier and more even. So I went with that four inch pin on the blood red to get it started up a bit soon. Perfect. What uh, oil pattern are we bowling on today? Squeaky clean Big Ben. <laughs> All right, so why do we pick this pattern, Randall? I picked the 44 foot Big Ben. So I've got two brand new balls that are gonna hook a lot. When they start to break down, I still wanna have enough volume for these mid-range balls as well. Sounds great. Let's get on the lanes. All right. Brando is so damn picky. Unreal. First up, Prism Warp Hybrid. that red got down the lane far enough I even missed two inside so I'm pretty happy with that Let's see if I can get this one a little further to the right all right a little through the spot that's okay it still made it back I'm happy with that let's compare it to the prism warp solid I'm gonna move three left with my feet, two with my target. Ooh, that was a little stronger than I thought. Solid prism warp's got a lot of cover to it. I'm gonna be a little firmer at this one. Much better, a little more cover. I gotta give that some speed. This pattern's still probably medium, medium heavy, and that's looking a ton. I'm surprised. These back ends are real clean. All right, a little too deep. Not bad, though. Just a little too much ball from there. Let's go back to the hybrid from that spot. I'm gonna soften up, and let's watch that corner. Nuts. Dead nuts. Hey, quit coffee in my line, man. <laughs> Let's hook that hybrid again. I can't remember having a pin down ball that hit the corner this well. Kind of reminds me of my mastermind brainiac. That's, that's seven pin again. Just a pinch through the spot. Pretty close. And that's probably just me being a little bit spinny with it. Still take it, decent shot. I'm gonna take a few shots going a little straighter with the Prism Hybrid. A little quick, that was close. I'd have to trust it a bit more than that. I can work with that though. Pattern's still really fresh. Ball really wants to jerk down the link. the way that goes to the pins. Very happy with that ball. I like that better playing straight than I did hooking it. When I was hooking, I was coming a little bit behind the head pin, catching the dry part of the lane a little bit too late. I was leaving those seven pins. Sometimes these balls that go a little bit longer for me are better when I stay straighter. No, that was still bad. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't a bad shot, just didn't quite hold the line. Close though. Once the oil pushed down a little more, I have some room there. Let's keep the speed up with the Prism Warp Solid. Little in, but close. 
Not bad. Still got nine out of the marginal shot. That's a strong ball. It's not as early as the original Prism Solid. That ball was really early. It's rare I had enough oil to use that. This I could see working on more patterns. Not really trying hard. I missed right on that one and it came back. I need to get my ball down into the lane a bit sooner, get into a roll. I have a tendency to be spinny with my shots. Make sure to subscribe to the JR Pro Shop channel. You guys have been great to me. I've known them almost their whole lives. Good guys. Melee jab, blood red. Perfect. I like that. It didn't go as sideways down the lane. Went through the pins a little bit better. I think I can control that. I really like this ball so far. Good. Do you like it? Let's move another two right and give it a little more gas. That's better. That's how I'd want to play this shot. A little more in the track, let the ball pick up a bit. The shorter pin on this one gives me a chance to read a bit of the mid lane. And being a sim, it's not as jerky down the lane. This is something I could use more often. What do you mean by track? Track? More like the second, third arrow area. Where everybody else plays. I have the original melee jab SE. Same ball as the blood red, just different color. I've got a different layout on this. I went pin up, five inches. This should go a little bit further down the lane. Further down the lane, jerk you off the spot. Let's hook this red jab a little bit. He tried, he tried. I'm gonna come back a little bit. It's pretty close though. I like the shape, it's still very controllable. I'm not gonna get myself into too much trouble if I throw decent shots. I like that, I needed a ball like that in my bag. Let's take another shot with the jab SC. Solid sevens. Jab blood red in box finish. Same line as the SE. <laughs> Same pin action. I think I've got more of those than strikes. I'm gonna finish this vid in half the takes of jump. <laughs> You're doing half a take? Is it possible? <laughs> That ball's perfect on this pack. All right, Brano, we just got done on the lanes. Uh, through the, both the prisms, uh, what's the difference between the two? The prism warp solid was very strong. It read the lane early. It really wanted me deeper into the oil. And the firmer I threw it, the better it rolled. The prism warp hybrid slid a little bit further down the lane and it had a pretty strong move on the back end. It was controllable, but a very strong arc. So in terms of boards hooked, What's the difference between the two? On this pattern, probably, I was probably four or five boards deeper with the solid than the hybrid. So if you have a prism warp solid, uh, prism warp hybrid would be a good complement? Absolutely. Yeah, a little bit longer, a little bit sharper down lane with the same mm -hmm. layout. Prism warp solid for heavy oil. Prism warp hybrid would be a good ball to change to after that or use on medium, maybe medium heavy oil. So both these balls look pretty good, Brando. Thank Which you. one do you think you'd get the most use out of? Probably the hybrid. It's rare that I see enough oil to need something as strong as the Prism Warp Solid. It's something I'd use maybe one or two games at a time in a tournament. But the hybrid, I could bring on all sorts of different patterns. I see it as the more versatile piece. I could use it for league. I could use it for different tournament situations. So that'll probably get more use for me. Yeah, it makes sense. Just goes a little bit further down lane. Hooks a bit less, so it'll be better on a more variety of patterns. All right, so after we threw the uh, prisms here, uh, we went down to the melees. A little bit different layout on them, just because they're exact same ball, just different color. What'd you see in terms of reaction with those two? The Millie Jab SE, I had sanded down to 3000, so it picked up a little bit sooner just because of the finish on the ball. The longer pin made it a little bit jerkier down the lane. The more even layout on the Blood Red was more smooth, more continuous. It was just easier to control. This might be a ball I sand down as well. So Brandon, you said Melee Jab SE. What does the SE mean? Special edition. This was a special ball that came out to just pro shops only. There was a very limited run and not everybody had a chance to buy one. The Jab Blood Red is available at all pro shops and anybody can buy one. Go get yours.
<laughs> so Brando, uh, which one of the, the jabs here do you prefer? That is a tough question. I really like the Melee Jab SE. I've used this a lot. I've sanded it and I've had some very good results with it. I really liked what it saw to the Blood Red as well. I used it earlier in a drop-in league on Long and I liked what it did for me. I'm gonna sand this one down as well and it could complement in my tournament bag as well. So these being mid-range symmetric pearls, when would you say is the best time to use these two balls? I'd say mid to late in the block. None of these balls are gonna roll really early or handle heavy oil, but mm. Once you've used your prisms and they start hooking a little bit early, switch to something a little more tame like the melees. How much less hook do you get out of the jabs than you do with the prism? I would say probably four to five boards less hook out of the jabs than the prism hybrid. That'd be probably 10 from the prism solid. That's a nice big spectrum there. Yeah, these four could be most of a tournament bag. All right, Brando, so first time here for the ball graph. Where do these four balls fit? Prism, warp solid, um, it's one of my strongest balls. Um, that's going to be my heavy oil monster. Prism Warp Hybrid, it's above average hook for me with above average back end. The Jab Blood Red with a four inch pin, I'm going to sand down to 3000. That should be right in the middle of my bag. Nice control piece to just sort of be a benchmark type ball. And the Millie Jab SE with a five inch pin, this will be a little bit on the longer side. So when I want to stand left and aim right when the lanes are a bit drier, this will be my go-to. All right, Brando, one last question here. Who would you recommend a prism to and who would you recommend a jab to? I'd recommend the Prism Warp Solid for somebody looking for help in heavy oil. This is probably more ball than you'll need in your everyday league, but if you're going to tournaments or expecting to see something a little slicker, that'd be the one to go with. The Prism Warp Hybrid would be a good ball for league. You can open your angles up and really see some back end motion. It tosses the pins around great. It'd be useful for tournaments as well. And I recommend the jab just for sort of all purpose, everyday ball motion. It's something I could use in game three in league. It's something I could take to a tournament. <laughs> Bicep curls, bro. <laughs> all right, Brando, final thoughts. This could very well be my league arsenal for our challenge league. Lucky Nine is a fairly slick house, especially for that league with five man teams. We put out a lot of oil. So Prism Warp, Solid and Hybrid will definitely come into play. Maybe in game four, I might get into the jabs. We'll see what happens. This is the makings of a pretty good arsenal. Wow, sounds great, Brando. Yeah, Thanks I like for all it. your insight. You're welcome. <laughs> like, subscribe, and follow JR Pro Shop on the link below. Thanks, Brando, appreciate it. I gotta get you a couple JR Pro Shop shirts. Extra medium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, don't forget about our awesome promo code, Jungo Barks, in the description below, shop.boofabowling.com. Uh, he's got everything in the shop there, so go check out what he has. Peace out. See you in the next video.